That is funny. I don't care who you are. Just a passive ability taken out of the super. No big deal. And hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. welcome back. And that hilariously fabricated clip shouldn't take away with how good this thing is. Today's review is for an exotic made for a specific tree on a subclass, and it's good, really good. It's obtained from Lost Sectors when Chest Day comes up. We had one on Wednesday, and that's how I got mine. Be sure to look at the Lost Sectors. I did the 1300 one, and that's what you're gonna be shooting for. And in today's review, I'm gonna go through how much damage it does and how to get even more damage. And we've seen subclass specific exotics like this, Atherus's Embrace for Bottom Tree Gunslinger, Helmus 814 for Top Tree Bubble Titan, Stabilizers for Chaos Reach, and many more. Titan Code of the Missile has one now, Caras of the Falling Star. This has PvE and PvP benefits. The exotic perk states, greatly increases your Thunder Crash impact damage. Gain an overshield that lasts longer the farther you travel before striking a target. The three exotics that came out are for light subclasses for the most part, and in some ways it does buff them. It's taken less used trees and making them more viable in the current sandbox. This chest piece really elevates Missile Titan, and a quick refresher on the tree. Ballistic Slam. After sprinting, leap into the air. Use the melee charge to slam to the ground, causing damage to nearby targets. Inertia Override. Picking up ammo during a slide reloads your equipped weapon and increases weapon damage for a short time. Impact Conversion. Hitting enemies with a Ballistic Slam grants super energy and activates Inertia Override. And finally, the Super Thunder Crash, Hurdle, yes, Hurdle through the air like a missile and crash into enemies. PvE-wise, is this good enough to take over Bubble or Sunspot? And yes, it can be, a thousand percent. A couple things about it, when it says it increases your impact damage, it's just overall damage. You should definitely try to hit your target, that does the most, but if you hit the ground next to them, it does the extra damage. And that extra damage that this exotic gives is two times, 100%. Think of it as two full Thunder Crashes in one. On my friend here on Europa, the regular Thunder Crash damage does 157,623. The Aftershock damage is 8,084. So by itself, this has always been pretty good. But with Falling Star on, it does a massive 315,246. Exactly double. And the Aftershock damage is also doubled as well, 16,167. It, it's just very, very good. It's right on the Golden Gun Celestial Nighthawk level. They're pretty much the same. We went through the raid, and there's some cool things you can do with this super that I want to show you. First of all, on single targets by yourself, you can just go ahead and Ballistic Slam to get in that damage, and then go into your super. Because when you're done with the super, you get to the second part of the exotic, getting an overshield, and I'll go over that later on in the review. But, like right here, up in space, we had two Titans with Falling Star. If we had three, I'm sure we could one-phase it, but we just follow up with swords. It does a ton of damage. And moving on to the boss, and on Tanix specifically, you can warp through the top of Tanix, and I'm on controller, it's going to be way easier with a mouse, but you can just fly in and out getting that damage as you pass through, and then hit the Thunder Crash. But doing that, with just one super alone, I did just right under 500,000 damage. But it gets better. This is where a fleet of these missiles is extremely potent. Divinity does buff the damage. As you see, there are going to be yellow crits. And when we go back to earlier in that part of the raid, there was a well placed on the ground, so it's getting some yellow crits as well. But if you were to have one person on Divinity, and five of these Titans, the damage is unreal. It would be massive. With Divinity, it's basically 2.5x. And if all five players were to land the Falling Star Thunder Crash, it's like you just hit a boss with 12 and a half regular Thunder Crashes. That's insane. Tons and tons of damage. And then you have the Aftershocks going on. And then when you're out of the super, there's things like Anarchy and Slug Shotguns. The Falling Star Missile Titan is a contender, guys. It's going to be a welcome addition to your fire team if you're not using it. And another note, you can Divinity solo. You have to be close, but you can start that Divinity bubble and then Thunder Crash into it to get that Divinity damage buff. So when you start getting into where we started, the base Thunder Crash doing 153,000 damage to over 400,000 with Falling Star and the Divinity. It's huge, but again, for this, you have to be close. The bubble will go away if you're far away. It deletes so many things in the game. Lost Sector bosses, middle ultras, even some strike bosses. I mean, I'm running with random players. They do get some damage in, but I do the solo div strat, and I just obliterate the warden. Again, doing the same strategy, I almost got Sedia in that strike. And I just can't help but think, and I'm going to bring it up again, that if I just had one other, or if all of us were the Falling Star Missile Titan, in some of these situations, we definitely would have got the boss down. The damage is just outright comical at times. I've done entire Lost Sectors where I literally just missile from the start of the Lost Sector, go all the way down to the end, and just down the boss, then go get the chest. It's incredible, it really is. Put it this way, I was actually excited to keep doing strikes, because I wanted to get to the final boss of that strike to see what this thing can do. And it had me thinking, I want to do this with a couple friends. Just completely obliterate strike bosses. 
And the best part, you aren't tied down to it, because you can start with Dune Marcher's Syntheseps. The new Ion Gloves are really good. You can use other exotics and then switch to this when it's big damage time. But regardless, using the kit of Inertia, getting the weapon damage, bypassing reloads, Ballistic Slam, and now you have big, big time super damage. It does catapult it right in the top 5 as far as PvE subclasses. It's so good. And that's just the damage part. Next, let's talk about the Overshield. Gain an overshield that lasts longer the farther you travel before striking a target. We're going to call this flight time. You take off in the super, you see the words glorious charge. And yes, that is the perfect name for a buff to be on the screen for this. The longer that you're in the air, before you make impact will decide the duration of an overshield once that impact happens. For the short little one hits, like you saw in PvE, 9 seconds is going to go on the screen that you're going to have the overshield. If you go a long, long way, it's going to go to the max, which is 20 seconds. And a couple really important things about this, that overshield takes 100 health, but if the shield isn't fully broke, if you take some damage and it's not fully broken, it regenerates and it does it at mock speed. I have two recovery right here and it just flies up. Having the overshield allows you to tank a Hawkmoon x6 headshot, a x7 body shot, and we did get the perfect number and there is damage rounding, but it took 272 from Hawkmoon and then two bullets from a 15 damage SMG, so 302 total damage. As you see right here, it leaves me with just nothing. The overshield is a huge deal, because in PvE, it means that once you land on a boss, or close to a boss, you can get out of there if the crash didn't take them out. It has some survivability to it. And if you do make it out, and that overshield wasn't broken, and you traveled a long time, for 20 seconds, you're going to continue to have regeneration on that overshield. In the Crucible, it helps fight off Fissure's damage from Stasis. And if you're out in the open, you have that extra 100 health to get more targets, or to maybe make a final stand. It takes out everything, and you can make it your life's work, like me, to strictly take out Behemoth Supers. Now, is it the best option? No, it isn't. Neutral game, you want One-Eyed Masks, Syntheseps, Dune Marchers, things like that. However, I do recommend switching to it when it's super time, especially in Trials. That's what I'm going to be doing. You can land your Ballistic Slams with Dunes or Synthos, use Inertia Override, but when it's super time, switch to it, lay down the Slam, have that extra health when you come out. It can be used in the Crucible, but it should be used when it's super time. It's similar to Raiju's Harness for Arc Strider or something like Gwizen or Shards of Galanor. Same type of deal. Overall, it's excellent. A true exotic. One that lays out a lot of punishment in PvE and some survivability in PvP. And like you saw in the opening, landing a crash on that Dawnblade, coming out of that, walking around with the Overshield, it can just be really, really good. I can't recommend it enough. Go out and get it when the Lost Sectors for Chess Pieces become available. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And if you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. There's going to be more to this exotic once more players have it. There's going to be some very cool things you can do with multiple players running it. Lots of damage. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy. Here we go, I'm a dude. All right, tar target has been spotted. I'm painting the target. Target's been painted. Oh, cool guy, please. <laughs> oh, almost killed him in one. Well, he did. He passed through him before hitting the ground. Cause you know how if you like pass real close by a target, you damage. Yeah. He's like tick. He's like tickling him. Make it happen, Captain. Wow, big damage. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> there he is. There's bigger brother. <laughs> Here we go. That's so much damage. Lord, he did over half in one hit. Perfect. Damn it. Did a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's perfect for burning through this. I cannot wait to get that. You're super again? <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Oh,